was that? Yay. Well, there's another part. I know, I'm sorry. There's part two. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, you know, it was. In, it's intense. You know, it's intense. I know. I'm, it's, it's trouble, right, when you think and make you think. Uh oh. Okay. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a seed uh, we're gonna have a shofar sounding. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we do a little nigun first and then we'll yeah. Okay. <laughs> wish you good Shabbos in a minute, but first, we've got the end of the week, the end of Friday, the last moments as the sun sets, as we do every day of Elul, we're going to sound the shofar, yeah? So I'm going to invite the, uh, the shofar team up to the front of the room, yeah? What's that? Team of one. Team of one? Wait, I thought, yeah. you're, read you're reading it and you're uh, it's sounding it? Yeah. Wow. So um, you all may know that Sandra Menace, is this thing on? Oh, sorry. Is it on? Uh, Steve, I don't know if I'm on. Um, Sandra Menace has arranged that during the Lul uh, that we would honor blowing the chauffeur uh, each day. And so we decided, or she decided and suggested that we have it blown also on Friday night services. It's really supposed to be blown in the morning each day, but we're taking exception so that you all get to hear it. So the, the question, and we're supposed to educate you a little bit about why you blow the show for on a rule. So I'll do a, just a quickie. And please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm sure it's perfect. No, it's not. But it has to be nice into the microphone so okay. everyone on Zoom can hear you. Okay. It's got to be, you know. All right. Um, well, after Israel sinned with the golden calf, Moses spent 40 days pleading for forgiveness. Then he ascended Mount Sinai once again for another 40 days, after which he descended and with the second tablets. This ascent, which began on the first of Elul and lasted until Yom Kippur, was accompanied by shofar blasts. To commemorate this, we blow the shofar during the month of Elul. And also, Elul is the month during which we search for our souls in anticipation of the high holidays. The soul-stirring chauffeur blasts inspire us to come closer to God as we read, quote, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid, unquote. Blowing the chauffeur, which is really a Rosh Hashanah activity for the entire month in advance has the impact of inev inevitably causing us to feel remorse over past misdeeds and sets ourselves upon a new path. If so, the case is already sealed and we have won. God has already inscribed us in the Book of Life for yes. the coming year, even before Rosh Hashanah. So. All right, I'm gonna invite everybody to rise in body or spirit. It's, yeah. Takiya. Shavarim Terua Tekia Ashikoa. Beautiful. All right. So we are we woken up? Did it happen? Lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's the HBO. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's yours. Yeah. The HBO original series, Lipstick on the Shofar, season, season seven. 
we're gonna, yeah, yeah. It's, don't miss it. You don't want to miss it. It's uh, intrigue, suspense, a fruit platter. It's, it's fantastic. Um, we we uh, did the melody of Yadid Nefesh, so I think we should jump right on into that. Um, is that is that out of order from what I told you over on the other side of the room there? Yeah, I said we we're going to light candles first. You know what? I'm going to follow the rules. I'm going to let's see. I know. How do you feel about lighting candles? Yeah. Yes. You. Sure. Yeah. I mean, whoever and anyone who's with you. Is it a? Did you wanna, yeah. Ad, is that Adam? This is Ada. Ada. I. Oh, Ada. You want to come and be part of this? Yeah, we've got two ways. We've got a machine and we've got matches. Yeah. All right. And um, you know what? I'm going to have everybody stay standing. So if you were not stay standing, I invite you to stand again. Come on over on this side. And we're going to light these candles. Let's see. Do, you, do we want to do this? Do we want to do this? Is this? I don't know how to work this. Ooh. Yeah. Do you want to help? Magic. Do you want to just say, you want to just talk? Yeah, what do you think? Oh, it's happening. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? And we are going to... Oh, oh it worked. So I'm going to invite you to lift up your arms. Can everybody lift up their arms? And take a deep breath. And notice how the candles go up, but the base is weighed down. You are solid and you are still lifted. I'm going to invite you to bring in that energy once, twice, three times as we cover our eyes and say the blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu Vemitzvotav Vetsihivanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Shel And we open our eyes and look, it's fire. Wow, look at that. I'm going to invite you to give somebody a Shabbos hug if you want, and they want anyone it could be a shabbat hug and you can wish them shabbat shalom or good shabbos or buen shabbat in ladino yeah ada did such a good job with the candles such a good job, Yasha Koach. And we're going to go to page seven and do some singing. Yadid Nefesh, the first and last verse on page seven. You keep talking, I'm going to start singing. Yadid Nefesh, it's fine. Av harachaman mishoch avdecha el retzon echa yarutz avdecha kemo ayal yishtachave el mul hadrecha. Teravlo yedidu techa mino fetsuf vechol tam higalena higalena ufros chavimi alai etzukat shelomecha. Ta'ir Eretz Mikvodecha Nagila Nagila Venismecha Bach Maher Ahuv Kiva Moed Vechoneinu Ki 
olam. Yada dai, here we go. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai dai dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 dai. Yada dai 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 on page 12, we open our hearts to the possibility that peace can be real, that actually could be a thing, that could happen. I know it doesn't seem that way a whole lot, but Shalom Aleichem says, welcome to the angels, the ministering angels of the Most High who bring us peace. Shalom to you, they bring shalom to us. If we're wishing shalom to everybody, it could happen. Page 12 and page 13 in the Hebrew and transliteration. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elio, On Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Boachem, Boachem Le Shalom, Malachi Hasharom, Malachi Elion, mi melech, malachi hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu barchuni, barchuni le shalom, malachi hashalom, malachi elion, mi melech. Malachi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Tzitchem Tzitchem le Shalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elyon Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. You sound really great. It's so sweet to be here. 19. Dodi Lee from Song of Songs. Dodi Lee, Ani Loharoe. Pashoshanim, Dodi Lee. Vahani <laughs> Vahani lo haroe, Bashoshanim dodi hili. Vahani lo haroe, Bashoshanim li baptini achoti kala, li baptini kala, li baptini achoti kala. Li baptini kala dodi li vani lo haroe bashoshanim dodi li vani lo haroe 
בשושנים, אורי צפון, ובואי תימן, אורי צפון, ובואי תימן, דודי לי, ואני לא הרואה בשושנים דודי לי ואני לא הרואה בשושנים. We turn to page 41. We're starting to get into it, yeah? A little bit of, little bit of blood flow? Yeah? A shtickle? Yeah? We're gonna go, לכה דודי, come my beloved. We call to each other. לכה, come on. We should do this. We should, be, we should have some fun. Yeah, what do you think? You, you into fun? You're like, I don't know you. <laughs> You're like, yeah, we'll do some singing. We'll make up the words if we have to. We'll stand up and we'll, we'll bow and we'll, and we'll see the queen that sometimes nobody else can see. The magic queen that is coming in the door, special for Shabbos. <gasps> It's gonna happen. Lahadodi, come on, we should do this. It's on page 40. There's going to be a verse there. And then the top of 43, and the top of 45, and the top of 47. And then we'll rise for the queen, the special queen that not everyone can see, and we'll greet her as she comes in. Page 41 is where we'll start. Lechadodi likra kala pene shaba ne kabela. Lechadodi likra kala pene shaba ne kabela. Shamur vezachur pedi borechad yishmianu el hamilchad adonai echad pushemoe. אחד לשם ולתפארת ולתהילה. לך דודי לקרא קלה ונשבה נקבלה. לקרא, לקרא, אוף דודי לקרא קלה ונשבה נקבלה. נאו לקרא, לקרא שבת לכו ונהלך כי מקור אברך מראש מקדם נסוך צוב מעשה במחשבה תחילה לך דודי לקרא קלה ונשבת נקבלה again לך דודי לקרא קלה ונשבת נקבלה התעוררי 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 כי באורך קומי אורי 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 שיר דברי כבוד אדוני עלייך נעלה אליך דודי לקראת קהלה פני שבת נקבלה לך דודי לקראת קהלה פני שבת נקבלה ימין ימין ושמאל תברות צבעי את אדוני תריצי על יד איש בן פרצי ונשמחה ונגילה לך דודי לקראת קהלה פני שבת נקבלה לך דודי לקראת קהלה פני שבת נקבלה בואי ושלום עטרת בלה גם בשמחה ובצולה תוך אמוני עם סגולה בואי חלה בואי חלה לך דודי לקראת קהלה פני 
Shabbat Nekabela Lechadodi Ligrat Kala Pene Shabbat Nekabela You can be seated. Ada, you are such a good dancer. You are welcome to dance here anytime you want, anytime at all. This is your dance floor, yeah? Is that a good deal? Good, okay, <laughs> excellent. So speaking of things that are going well, Ada's dancing is going very well up front. But uh, I'm just wondering what's going well for you? We've got a, a Psalm, uh, Psalm 92 for special for Shabbos that says, Tov lo hodot l'adonai, it's good to give thanks. I don't know. It's good. Just good to say thank you. What's going well? What's feeling good? What's what what what? What was in the right groove this this week? Anyone? Yes, way in the back. Yes, uh, daughter-in-law started a great new job, and grandson four weeks in is still in love with middle school. <laughs> <laughs> we we are getting the regular middle school report. Four weeks in, really still loves middle school. Yeah, and, uh, and the, and the daughter-in-law? New, New job, excellent. Hallelujah, all right, anyone else? Something going well. Yes, Tom. Good results from the cardiologist. Good results from the cardiologist. <laughs> Hallelujah, yes. You got applause for being alive. That's pretty <laughs> fantastic, that means they really like you. Yeah, excellent. Anyone else? Yeah. I've done several paintings recently, and I uh, was able to help a really difficult patient the other day, and mm -hmm. really advocated for them, and did, did, did a lot of good for that person. It was a good feeling. Nice, nice. Uh, do it, paint it, creating and helping a patient. That's beautiful. Thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. It was a cold. It was a cold, <laughs> and not and not the other thing, the Voldemort's. Yes, Rabbi. My daughter came through her surgery just fine. Daughter came through surgery fine. Earlier this week, okay. she got home, doing fine, leaving her with a semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy. This rabbi, your first year of rabbinical school, they make you take rabbi humor. And that's, <laughs> you have to learn jokes like that. I mean, yeah, is there anyone on Zoom who's got something uh, they want to share with us? My pumpkin plants are growing wildly and full of babies. The pumpkin plants are full of babies? Baby pumpkins. Baby pumpkins. <laughs> Have to be specific. Eat shoots and leaves, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. What else? What else? Any, that's it? Baby pumpkins. Cool. For all of these things. Um, oh, one more. Yeah, last one. 11 months sober. 11 months sober. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy work. That is amazing. Um, page 49. Uh, it's not in the transliteration, but it, it's, it's the second to last line. Ma gadlu, and we'll say, Ma sechaya, ma'od amku makshavotecha. How great are your works, supernal one, and your thoughts are very profound. Ma gadlu, ma sechaya, ma'od amku. Me oram ku makshevo techa Magadlu Magadlu Masechaya Me oram ku makshevo techa and one more time, Magalu, Masechaya, Me Oram 
تو مکشوات هن ففتی وان ات ستار صادقات ماری فراخ کرز بالوانان یس گش تو موسیقی Yashar Adonai Tzuri Velo Avla Tabo We rise in body or spirit. Chatsi Kaddish is on page 55. That's going to go right into the Baruch 157. Yit Kadal, Vit Kadash, Shime Rabba, Belma Divarach, Yurute, Viamlich Mahuote, Behaikon, Uyo Behon, Uhaye de Hol Bet Yisrael, Bagala, Bagala, Uvisman Karib, Vemeru, Amen. Yahesh me rabba me varach, Olam alal me almaya. Yitvarach, vishtabach, vipar vitramam vitnase, vit hadar vit ale vit halal, shime de kudisha, barichu leila, min koberchata veshirata, tush bechata vnechamata, dahamiran bialma, veimeru, amen. Yeah, You may be seated. This is from Mary Oliver. In the afternoon, I watched the she-bear. She was looking for the secret bin of sweetness, honey, that the bees store in the tree's soft caves. Black block of gloom, she climbed down tree after tree and shuffled on through the woods. And then she found it, the honey house, deep as heartwood, and dipped into it among the swarming bees, honey and comb. She lipped and tongued and scooped out in her black nails until, maybe, she grew full or sleepy or maybe a little drunk and sticky down the rungs of her arms and began to hum and sway. I saw her let go of the branches. I saw her lift her honeyed muzzle into the leaves and her thick arms as though she would fly. An enormous bee, all sweetness and wings, down into the meadows, the perfection of honeysuckle and roses and clover to float and sleep in the sheer nets swaying from flower to flower, day 
after shining day. Page 59 at the star. Umavir yom ume vi laila, umavdi obein yom ume vi laila, Adonai tzavahot shemo, el chai vekayam tamid, yimloch aleinu leolam vahed, baruch ata Adonai, hamari varavi. Ahavat olam is on page 63. When we lie down and when we rise up, we find that the lessons of love are all around us, even if it's been hard to pay attention. We do a little focusing with this prayer, 63. It's going to go right into the Shema on 65. <laughs> Torah mitzvot chukim u'meshpatim otanu lemadeta alken Adonai Eloheinu v'shochmenu v'kumenu nasiach b'chukecha v'nismach b'divrei Toratecha going to chant the Via Hafta on page 65 about returning that love that we've received. You'll notice the word lev shows up occasionally. Levavecha, levavecha. Lev is heart. It sounds like love. It's kind of cool. So anytime we get to levavecha or lev, you can just put your hands on your heart. You can make a little, make a little heart like that. So if you like to do that. And just connect to your heart. Yeah, 65. Vehavtra et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Vavcha, Uvechol Nashicha, Uvechol Mehotecha, Vehayu Harvarim Haele, Asher Anochi Mitzavecha, Hayom Alivavecha. Vishinantam Levanecha Vidibar Tabam Beshivtecha Bavetecha Uvelechtecha Vaderech Uveshoch Becha Uvekumecha Ukshartam Leot Al Yadecha Vahayu Letotafo Behinecha Uktavtam Al mezuzot beitecha uvisharecha. There is a custom sometimes to pick one of these sections, these biblical sections, it's on 66 and 67, or 68 and 69, and you just pray them through and you do it just loud enough for you to hear. And if we all do it in English or Hebrew or whatever you want, there's this holy murmuring sound. So let's see how that goes, and then we'll come together on 73. I am Shemotish Moment for Taisha and Achim and Sam. I 
promised him. The boundless one told Moses, speak to the Israelites and tell them to make themselves seat seat on the corners of their clothes for the generations. Have them place on their corner at seat seat a twine of royal blue. This is your seat seat. Ani Adonai Rohechem, Asher Hotzeiti Adchem, Me Eretz Mitzrayim, Liot Lachem Lelohim. Ani Adonai Rohechem, Adonai Rohechem, Emet. We go from a song, we songs of love. Whispered soft and true, is that how that goes? Uh, to songs of redemption, liberation. Um, we're about to sing the liberation song that the Israelites sang at the shores of the sea when they got free. Um, they were laborers. They worked. They were uh, uh, maybe uh, guest workers, we might call them now, from another country, and they worked hard, and it never seemed like anything was gonna get better, and then they got free. Um, this weekend is a holiday weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. And so we remember um, there, there, this was the original uh, union, I think. Mo Moses was the original walking delegate, uh, we are taught. And uh, he's got a list of demands, and it doesn't work out. And that's why you've got to go on strike sometimes. Um, so this is from Professor Michael Walzer from his book, Exodus and Revolution. This will lead, right us, lead us right into Micha Mocha. Professor Walzer says, Pharaonic oppression, that's pharaoh into an adjective, I think this is very clever. Pharaonic oppression, deliverance, Sinai, are all still with us. Powerful memories shaping our perceptions of the political world. The door of hope is still open. Things are not what they might be, even when what they might be isn't totally different from what they are. We still believe, or many of us do, what the Exodus first taught, or what it has commonly been taken to teach about the meaning and possibility of politics and about its proper form. First, wherever you live, it is probably Egypt. Second, there is a better place, a world more attractive, a promised land. And third, the way to the land is through the wilderness. In other words, there is no way to get from here to there except by joining together and marching. Page 79, Micha Mocha, Baelim Adonai, Micha Mocha, Nedar Bakodesh, No Ra. Adonai, 
Yes, the redeeming one has rescued Jacob and saved him from a power stronger than his own. Baruch atah Adonai ka'al Yisrael. Page 81, you see the picture of the, the city. It looks like Jerusalem, yeah? And then there's, uh, there's words over top. This is our Hashki Venu prayer in which we ask for protection, for feeling of settledness and safety. And so we'll do some words. Ufros alenu sukach lomecha, spread over us the sukkah of your peace. Help us feel safe. And if you don't want, you can sing along, you can hum along, and you could just look at the picture and see those beautiful words protecting the people, all the people of the city. Ufro Salein Sukat Sukat Shalomecha Ufro Salein Sukat Sukat Shalomecha Ufros Aleinu Sukkat Sukkat Shalomecha Ufros Aleinu Invite you to rise in body or spirit. Turn to page 85. Celebration of Shabbos. Veshamru Vene Israel et Hashabat La Sot et Hashabat Le Dorotam Berit Olam Veniu Ven Vene Israel Oti Le Olam Oti Le Olam Veshamru Vene Israel et Hashabat La Sot et Hashabat Le Dorotam Berit Olam Ki Sheshet Yamim Asa Adonai Asa Adonai Et Hashamayim Ve et Haaretz Ve Shamru Vene Yisrael Et Hashabat La Sot et Hashabat Le Dorotam Berit Olam Uvayom Hashvi Shavat Vayna Fash Shavat Vayna Fash Shavat Vayna Fash Veshamru Bene Israel Et Hashabat La Sot Et Hashabat Le Dorotam Berit Olam in a minute, we're going to pray the Amida, which is said silently, or whisper, just whatever you need to whisper. It's pages 91 to 107. Take as much time as you need. Somebody told me that um, I haven't been doing Adonai Sifatai Tiftach and that they miss it. Yeah, do you miss it? Sure. Yeah, okay, some people miss it. Yeah, 
So let's do that first. That's on page 91, 90 and 91. And this is a really beautiful teaching. I'm glad this person reminded me of it because it asks God to open our lips that our mouths may uh, say what needs to be said. Because sometimes we don't know what to say. You know, there's the words in the book, but you know, you know, sometimes you don't know what to say. So God just, you know, help me be open. Because I, I, I don't know, I feel stuck sometimes. So maybe you can take care of this, I don't know. So um, this is page 91, and again, the rest of it is, is private. You do, you do you, whatever you need. You and God, it's your thing. Whatever God is, whatever that means. Here we go. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufiya gita hilatecha Open my lips, beloved one, let my mouth de declare your praise. Shalom bim Roma. Who ya say Shalom Aleinu? We all call Yisrael. We all call Yoshve Tevel. We imru, imru. Amen. Ida da 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 da
Shalom bim romav, who ya say shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael, ve al kol Yoshev Tevel, ve imru, imru, amen. Maker of peace in the heavens. Make peace for us, for all the people of Israel, for everyone who dwells on earth. And we say amen. amen. I'm going to invite you to hold close the people in your world who are in need of healing. And that could be any kind of healing. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. I'm going to invite you to visualize them and see them. Maybe you close your eyes, up to you. And see them, whatever their path of healing is right now, and it's different for everybody, what would it look like if they got through to the other side of what they're going through in a way that was whole? We are going to chant two verses of Mishabera by Debbie Friedman. And in between the two verses, I'm going to share some names that I have here, and I'll invite you to say the names that you have in your heart out loud, if you would so desire. Mishabeirach avoteinu mekor habracha leimoteinu may the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen and Sheila Taylor Martin Castillejo, Tanya Aiden, Lang Marsh, Sharon Miller, Jerry Falcon, Bob Schwartz, Marie Power, Roseanne Blake, Ronnie Carlin, Loretta Noon, Pop Young, Esther Myers, Aya Iwatani Weinbrod, Stern, Tracy Stern Cox, Richard Adler, Richard Cohen, Jenny Williams Cohen, Sharon Miller, Rosalie Levy, Peppy Lurie, Diane Brown, Mona Lisa Schultz, Linda Stiles, Amy Kraft, Naomi Stauber, Carla Caraballo, Sarah Griscom, Marjorie Asheroff, Talia Bad Yehudit, Jesse Drawn, Jamie Robertson, Abraham Bosomak, Jeannie Heinsen, Linda Fishman, Nancy Gerber, Scott Weber, Iris Brinegard Nach, Shauna Brinegard Bialik, Billy Nach, Ann Schley, Abby Drew, Peter Bauer, Leslie Bauer, Malcolm Estroff, Tessa Queen, Paul Forsink, Steve Somers, Rebecca Green, Alan Grendel, Sharon Kuttner, Janet Harden, Bernie Wax, Emily Jordan, Naomi Pa. Anyone else? Anyone on Zoom whose name we want to mention? Mishabarak Imote. Mekor habracha lavoteinu. Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Rofei HaCholim, blessed are you, Adonai, healer of the sick. And we say Amen. Well, uh, this is another week where I was waiting for the news to be really calm and chill and everything to go well. 
Um, and this is another week where I was disappointed. The news seemed a little stressful. Uh, threats to basic bodily autonomy continue apace. Uh, worldwide climate cataclysm seems to be uh, doing its thing. Uh, corrosion of American democracy. You know, little things like that. Uh, so I thought, okay, I gotta talk about something. It's a holiday weekend. I should keep it light. Yeah. Yeah, then I looked at the Parsha. Uh, it is Parshat Shoftim. It is all about the appointment of Shoftim, of judges, uh, leaders. Yeah? What's that? Interesting. Interesting. Interesting time for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Specifically, how to set limits on the power of civil and religious authority. <laughs> Uh, in the words of our Eitz Chaim Torah commentary, the Torah lays out the groundwork for public supervision and criticism of human authorities. <laughs> Thus preventing them from gaining absolute domination. I will let you make up your own joke and tell it at your own house. <laughs> um, rules about courts. We got punishment for false prophets. We got consequences for murder versus manslaughter. They're different categories in the Torah. Setting up and respecting property markers, rules for witnesses, uh, the laws of warfare. Uh, and the Parsha finishes just for fun with uh, instructions for what town leaders should do when they find a dead body in a field. <laughs> Happy holiday. Maybe I thought we could find a source of comfort and connection here, so I'm going to do my best. Um, like I said, there are rules in the Parsha for witnesses. You know? The Torah teaches that you cannot convict based on the testimony of just one witness. For a charge to stick, you need at least two witnesses to say that they saw the same thing. It makes sense. You, you want to base a decision on one person? made a mistake, or is holding a grudge, or is biased in some way? No, you don't want to do that. The rabbis of the Talmud actually expand this regulation. The two witnesses they teach can't be related to the litigants or to each other. This also makes sense. You don't want family drama to affect a court of law any more than it already has to, which got me to thinking. Yes, this obviously has implications for our criminal justice system, and we will talk about that some other day, I promise you. But we are currently in the Jewish month, Jewish month of Elul, the month before Rosh Hashanah. The high holidays bring with them a feeling of intensity, of course. We call Rosh Hashanah Yom Hadin, Day of Judgment, but there's also something inherently optimistic about them. As we say in the theme for this year's high holidays, insist on hope. And yes, we've got the possibility of change. We look at who we were in the past year, where we messed up, and we also celebrate getting a do-over. And Yom Kippur, spoiler alert, God will forgive us. You might call this a hard reboot, yeah? On the other hand, for the tsuris between people, it's not so easy. But that's where another part of the optimism comes in. The high holidays are a revolutionary declaration of an amazing idea. Again, people can change. There is hope for every one of us, even me. Relationships can change. Where before there was hurt, that can change too. Healing, it's possible. Of course, this means you have to talk to each other about the hurt, which we aren't always exactly in a big rush to do, yeah? After all, if I did something to hurt you, you might be mad, maybe really mad. After everything I did, you should talk to me. Well, in a word, yeah. Remember that rule that we don't convict unless there's two witnesses who agree? If I'm upset with somebody, could I get two people to agree that what happened was exactly what I say happened? Maybe. Two Jews to agree on exactly what happened? <laughs> this is not likely. And in any case, maybe I got some details wrong. 
Maybe the slight wasn't exactly what I thought it was. Maybe nobody was there actually. And there were no witnesses at all. And maybe the other person is just as upset as I am. Maybe we're just two people who remember being hurt by each other. And maybe we should talk about it. Of course, this doesn't really apply in situations in which talking to the person might be dangerous or traumatizing, like in cases of abuse or assault. But in a time of Twitter wars and Facebook feuds, when it's easy to give up on someone, to convict without a trial or judge or witnesses, it's important to remember that at least according to Torah, it takes two witnesses to testify that my side is right. And that's probably not gonna happen. But okay, for the benefit of the doubt, let's say I got the two witnesses, not related to me, or to you, or to each other. You yeah, I'm proven, I got this. But the Torah keeps going. It says, Va'amdu shnei ha'anashim asher lahem hariv lifnei Adonai. The two people who have this beef with each other, yeah, should stand before God, lifnei Adonai. God, remember, you know, the God who wipes the slate clean on Yom Kippur that we just mentioned, the do-over, yeah? As we will chant together on the high holidays, Erech apayim of chesed v'emet. Slow to anger, great in mercy. No se avon vafesha v'chata v'nake. The God who forgives mistakes and missteps and sins. That God. And if God, who knows our most profound weaknesses, can give each of us the benefit of the doubt and forgive, well, maybe, just maybe, we can give each other the benefit of the doubt and try and talk it through. Not as easy as all that, obviously. First of all, we have to have that conversation. Somebody has to talk to somebody else first or make a call or email or text. They have to do something first, you know? Teshuva, what we're supposed to be doing this month, this return, is not just forgiveness, it's a process. Teshuva requires interaction and sometimes taking the first step. Personal engagement, you tell me what I did and how I made you feel. Maybe I do the same. If it works out, we ask each other for forgiveness. We vow not to act the same way going forward and then try to make good on that vow. It is not easy, but it is possible. Especially if we remember, we probably couldn't get two witnesses to swear that we're 100% right. Especially if we remember that we were created by a cosmic engineer who knows all the bugs in our system and loves us anyway. Another thought. I said before that this Parsha has rules for warfare as well. One of the mitzvot, the sacred obligations uh, in the Parsha, prohibits the destruction of fruit trees in war. You can eat the fruit if you're at war with uh, a, a land, but the Torah warns, lo tashchit, don't destroy the tree. It is where we get the Jewish value of bal tashchit, don't be wasteful of God's gifts, don't treat them uh, casually. Not only regarding trees, writes Maimonides, the Rambam, in his Mishnah Torah. But even one who destructively breaks vessels or rips up clothing or tears down a building or seals up a spring or wastes food violates the negative commandment of Baal Tashchit, do not destroy. It is why I am excited to say at CBH we've got ourselves a green team. And their mission statement, hot off the presses, says that our shul must, quote, lead by example and fulfill the commandment of Shmirat Adama guarding and preserving the earth by serving as good stewards of the environment and facing up to the accelerating climate disruption already harming communities worldwide. In cooperation with the staff and the board of the shul, the green team is committed to auditing and greening CBH operations. Quote, after the high holidays, we will document and present potential green actions, comparing them in terms of carbon reduction, cost, and payback. In the meantime, I am excited to say they'll be hosting a Honey Bee Havdalah next Shabbat, featuring Amy Price talking about the role of bees in the ecosystem. And there will be a tasty honey tasting. You don't want to miss that. 
Yeah, right? Who doesn't like honey? Well, somebody. Newborns shouldn't have honey. Um, so there's that. There's the safeguarding the planet stuff, yeah? But after the guidance on safeguarding God's creation, the verse ends with an interesting phrase, right? We said, don't, don't go to war with the trees, yeah? Ki ha'adam eitz hasadeh. What does that mean? Our Torah commentary translated, translates it, excuse me, as are the trees of the field human? In other words, okay, you crazy people, you're at war with each other, oi, but is your fight with trees? No, it's with people. The trees can't even run away from you. It seems like a solid teaching. Only one problem, ha'adam eitz hasadeh doesn't mean our trees of the field people. It actually means kind of the opposite. Literally, the human is a tree of the field. Hmm. So how did this verse get turned on its head? Translators who make it into a question say the Torah is being brief. In other words, a person is a tree of the field requires the right tone of voice. A person is a tree of the field? Question mark? And no, of course not. But anyone who's ever chanted a Torah, say a genealogy passage, or the instructions for building the tabernacle, knows brevity is not always the Torah's strongest suit. <laughs> more convincing to me, or at least more interesting to me, is a commentary in the Da'at Zakenim, literally the Law of the Elders, compiled from 12th and, uh, 12th and 13th century scholars. Ooh, that's hard to say. Much easier to type. <laughs> That's like getting from 12th and 13th century scholars. It says to read the text as it's written. The human is a tree of the field. And here's the quote from Dat Zekinim. Just as a human being is meant to produce fruit, the commentary teaches, so trees are supposed to produce the fruit for which they have been provided by nature. You must not destroy such trees. Don't give up on these trees, these crazy things swaying in the wind. Sometimes they're actual trees. Sometimes they're people. Turns out people are like trees in another way. Ecologists are beginning to understand that trees communicate via a vast underground network of connections. Okay, am I going to pronounce this right? What are the, take your bets now. Mycorrhizal networks? Some people know. Okay. So, so, you know more than I do. That's a no, it's scary. These, through these networks, so then you know this, plants can exchange sugar, nutrients, water. I call it the language of the trees, says Suzanne Seamard, I think is how you pronounce that, professor of forest ecology, and the author of Finding the Mother Tree, Discovering the Wisdom of the Forest. From this research, a picture emerges of individuals with those, sharing with those in need, mother trees sending carbon to seedlings, and of dying trees donating nutrients to their neighbors in their last days of life. What we have here, folks, I would say is a fantastic metaphor. Another support for our teshuva work, this ilul. Yes, other people have heard us. And to be sure, we've heard other people. But in the words of Torah, people are trees. Your testimony is not always right. And you never know the delicious fruit that the person you're mad at is gonna provide. You never know the protection, the beauty that's there. The possibility, like an underground root system of kinship, companionship, like trees of the field, connection. If we condemn the people we know and love, we lose out on that possibility. If we cut them out or cut them down, we run the risk, God forbid, of cutting down the potential for sweetness and goodness that is within them. Oi, we don't want this for them and certainly we don't want this for us. This Shabbat, this Elul, we remember the force of love in the universe, the force that favors compassion over harsh judgment. We are grateful for the force that holds out the hope for forgiveness, for repair, for healing, that reminds us that even our most strongly held convictions, the things that we know that we saw, sometimes they're not 100% right. 
we remind ourselves of our remarkable capacity to change and the network that has grown around us that allows the whole world to change. We look forward to a future, may it begin with us, when all people can be trees of the field, giving forth a sweet harvest of happiness and wholeness, connected underground and reaching high into the heavens, stretching forth for light and love. Should be God's will. As we are in the month of Elul, you're going to chant some, a little part of Psalm 27, something we do, a reminder uh, of this, of the work that we do, like the shofar that we be- heard so beautifully. 8:32 in your Sidor. I invite you to join me. Oh, and I don't know if we have the same melody. I guess we'll find out. (laughs) Things you learn when you do them in front of a live group of people. Here we go. (laughs) Again. Shivti bebe daronai kol yeme chayai lachazot benoam benoam adonai ulvaker be chalo lachazot benoam benoam adonai one thing I ask from God, one thing do I seek, that I might stay in the divine presence all the days of my life. And I might add, recognize that what I'm present for is divine. Envision divine delight. Contemplate God's presence. Amen. All right. I'm going to do this a little out of order, I'm telling my friend at the at the controls first we're going to rise in body or spirit for Elenu and that's on page 121 Alenu le shabeh la don ha kol la tet gedula li otzer breshit shenatan lanu torah hatemet v'chayei olam nata b'tochinu on 23 v'anachnu korim u'mishtachavim u'modim l'fnei melech malchei hamlachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Turn to 127. Uh, we join together. I invite you to change any of the gendered words into gender neutral words. And then all that has divided us will merge. And then compassion will be wedded to power. And then softness will come to a world that is harsh and unkind. And then all people will be gentle. And then all people will be strong. And then no person will be subject to another's will. And then all will be rich and free and varied. And then the greed of some will give way to the needs of many. And then all will share equally in the earth's abundance. And then all will care for the sick and the weak and the old. And then all will nourish the young. And then all will cherish life's creatures. And then all will live in harmony with each other and the earth. And then everywhere will be called Eden once again. Rakatuv b'Torah Techa Adonai Imloch Leolam Vaed V'Nemar V'Haya Adonai L'Melech Al Kol Haaretz Payom Hahu Payom Hahu Yeh Adonai Echad Ushemo Ushemo I invite you to remain standing as we join together our prayer for the end of hiding. In the middle, you've got a purple sheet that's in the middle of the page. It might be inside your book. As LGBTQ Jews, 
We are aware of the loss of integrity we suffer due to pressures of the larger society. We often feel forced into a dishonest presentation of ourselves to ourselves and others. The LGBTQ individuals who feel they must pretend to be something they are not, the Jews who feel they must be alienated from their tradition and community to win larger acceptance, both are victims of a theft of identity and integrity committed by the sexual, gender identifying, and religious majority. Creator of the universe, we ask that our hiding draw to an end, that we no longer feel we have to pretend, to promise falsely, to renounce ourselves, and that our fullest creative expression as Jews and as lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, and queer people be among the blessings you bestow upon us. Let's say amen. You may be seated. We remember the people on whose shoulders we stand, the people who we have lost, those who died recently or at this time in years past by reciting Kaddish Yatom, Mourner's Kaddish. Are there any, uh, any recent deaths or yard sites, the anniversaries of deaths that we would like to say out loud at this time? In a minute, I'm going to invite the mourners to rise and we will chant, or we will rather uh, say together the first part of Kaddish Yatom, the mourners Kaddish. And then when we get to the response, the fourth line down, we will rise all together in memory of those who die every day of war, of hunger, of abuse, neglect, lack of proper health care um, on this Labor Day weekend, those whose labor was not treated with dignity and were not provided with safe workplaces, um, those killed al Kadush Hashem for the sanctification of God's name amongst our people, um, and anyone else that you are holding close on this Shabbat evening, 131 Kaddish Yatom, the mourners Kaddish, again I invite the mourners among us to rise. Yit Gadal v'yit Kaddash Shemei Rabbah, v'alma divra hirute v'amlich malchute, v'chayechon uv'yomechon, Vachaye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Bagala of Isman Karib, Bimru Amen. Yehe Shme Raba Mavarach Leolam Ul Alme Almaya, Yit Barach, Vishtabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase, Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme de Kudisha, Barichu, the Ela mean called Birhata Vishirata, Tushbachata, Venechamata, Damiran Belma. Imru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vachayim Alenu, Vial Kol Yisrael, Bimru Amen. Ose Shalom Bimromav, Hu Yase Shalom, Alenu, Vial Kol Yisrael, Vial Kol Yoshve Tevel, Bimru Amen. Zecher Tzadik Livracha, the memory of our righteous ones, always for a blessing. We say Amen. You may be seated. Do we have someone offering our holy business, our announcements? Is it Tom? With, we have two Toms here today. Wow. Oh. All right. I'm going to get out of the way. Welcome. Shabbat shalom. Welcome to, Shabbat shalom. Welcome to everyone here at CBH and everyone on Zoom. Uh, my name is Tom Downs. I serve as one of the vice presidents on the board. And there's a, a, a few thank yous I'd, I'd like to thank. First of all, I want to thank our greatest Steve and Margie Osheroff. Thank you to our Zoom host, Steve Osheroff. Steve, double duty today. Thanks, <laughs> Steve. Thank you to our CBH staff on site, Greg Lawrence. Thank you to our facility staff on duty, Calvin Williams. Thank you to tonight's police officer, Nicole Rutland. And she won't fix your tickets because I asked her already. <laughs> uh, thank you to. to Tonight's um, lip service leader, Rabbi Mike. Thank you also to our own next sponsors, Sunrise at Buckhead and B'nai Kins, Crystal and Greg Pins. 
Join us for Friday night Shabbat next weekend, September 9th at 7.30 for services that will be led by Rabbi Mike. You are also invited next weekend for Shabbat morning services with special guest Ruth Messinger at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, September 10th. And Honey Bee Havdala presented by the CBH Greek teens that same day at 5.45. High holiday registration is live, so please RSVP to attend Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur services. Each of those require separate registration, even for members of CBH. Please sign in here to the Brit Reute if you plan to come to any of the CBH uh, programs in person. And be sure to check your bet meal or the CBH website for the latest on all upcoming programs. Again, thank you and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shkaya. Well done. You might have a permanent job, Tom. <laughs> You're doing great. Amen. <laughs> uh, we're going to finish with Adon Olam on page 133. Yeah? How's that sound? Sounds good. Hearing uh, no, no objection. Adon Olam Asher Malach Biteram Kol Yetzir Nibra Le Nasa Vechef Tzokol Azai Melech Shemo Nigra Viachare Kichlot Hakol Levado Yimloch Nora Vehu Haya Vehu Ove Vehu Yehie Betifara Vehu Echad Vien Sheni Laham Shilo Lehach Bira Beli Reshit Beli Tachlit Velo Haoz Veham Isra Vehu Eli Vechai Goli Vetsor Havli Betsara Vehu Nisi Umanosli Menat Kosi Beyom Ekra Beyado Avkid Ruhi Betishan Beyaira Vim Ruhi Geviati Adonai Li Velo Shabbat Shalom, good Shabbos, Buen Shabbat. We're going to have Kiddush and Motzi in here, I'm told, which means you're all stuck because you can't move. Um, while we're waiting, is there anyone here who's in, for, here for the first time? Yes. Why don't, you, while we're, why don't you stand up and tell us who you are if you're okay with that? Sure. Hi, I'm Joelle. Uh, I grew up in Queens. Go Mets! Yeah, let's go. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> I am. It's very complicated now I'm in the Braves town. Yeah. But yes. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, uh. Yes. Uh, yeah. And do you, do you live here now? I live here now. I moved here for grad school. Previously I went to Brandeis. Um, no. I lived in Boston for four years and now I'm here. And my name's Joelle. Joelle, welcome. Uh, Anyone else? Here, first time, second time? Second time, second time. Second time? You want to let folks know who you are? Oh, here it comes. Great. Hi, everybody. I'm Bethany. I'm, I'm Krista. Um, I'm a librarian. Uh, I think I've met most of the Nancys in this room. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is our, our second time here, and uh, the, we were here just the last time the service was held. And I felt really welcomed, and uh, it was very warm and inviting. So we came back. We were That's what we're trying. And you live in town? Uh, yes, we're here in Atlanta. Fantastic. All right, anyone else? Oh, yeah. So, hey. This is our second time here. We came for Purim. Um, we were at Rainbow Home and Tasha. Nice. <laughs> um, I'm Andy. This is Miranda. I'm an Andy. A food scientist. That's so cool. <laughs> well, you've got a fan. <laughs> awesome. And my, also, my family is her birthday, so yeah. It's all yeah, coming. Never meet other jobs. It is yeah. all coming together. Um, and you're also in town? Uh, we live in Decatur. Decatur. 
Fantastic. All right. Welcome. Um, everyone else veterans? Yeah? All right. We mostly go to little kid things. You mostly go to little kid things. We mostly, we've been coming to CBH for a while, but I'm PC and this is Lauren. Hi. PC and Lauren, also from we've Atlanta? We've mostly been attending little kid things. Awesome. Ada is, oh, Ada is, uh, is, is, out there with is fantastic. Yeah. I'm a I'm a big fan of Ada. Yep, I'm also of Aaron, <laughs> of course. Uh, we inv I invite you to rise in body or spirit for the Kiddush. Savre Chavarai. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu Melech Alam. Bore Puri Agafen. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu Melech Alam. Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzavanu V'shabbat Kodsho V'yahavah U'v'ratzon Hilchilanu Zikaron L'mase V'reishin Ki Hu Yom Techila L'mikrae Kodesh Zecher L'tziyad Mitzrayim Kielenu karata, veltanu kidashta, lavoda techa, veshabat kachacha, beava uvratzon, in kaltanu, barochata donai, mekadesh hashabat. All right, this guy. Do you know? Do you know how to say mozi? Yeah. Would you be in charge of this? Because we need. We might need your help. Yeah. Still drinking. Yeah. <laughs> now don't give up any of that juice. I don't. I wouldn't dream of it. Is it gone? I'll give you more juice afterwards. All right. There'll be. Oh yeah, this is teamwork. Yeah, executive director here. All right. So you want to? Do we? Do we reach out and touch? Somebody's hand, make this world a better place if you can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Achat, Shtahim, Shalosh. Oh, you want to do it, Hamotzi? Wait, wait, wait. Hamotzi lechem in Haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Atanah, Elohim Melech Olam, Hamosi Lechem Miharetz, Amen. Shavon, good job. Yasha Koach. The dinosaurs helped. And Shabbat Shalom to all the Zumasher Yidden. We love you. Thank you. 